Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw ourselves. I want you to draw yourself as a Sonic, basically as a hedgehog, <laughs> as a Sonic Universe character, really. So I'm gonna go through a couple of things. Number one, this is for beginners. So if you're completely a beginner, you're 100% in the right spot. Um, I'm gonna go through the average proportions that pretty much every single Sonic character has, like every Sonic Universe character has. Um, and then after that, uh, I'm gonna create my own on camera uh, for you to see. And it's pretty much it. By doing that, you will be able to draw yours, okay? Simple stuff. I think I've, uh, I think this is a really good video, honestly. So stick around for the effort. Do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up right now, um, and let's hop into the video, okay? All right. Uh, so let's go over really quick what I'm uh, talking about here. Uh, so. As far as drawing yourself as a Sonic character, you want to know the uh, kind of layout in general proportions of all Sonic characters, and that's kind of what I, want, I mostly want to talk about in this video. So, when you're thinking about any Sonic character, <clears throat> the, the head in general, like the basic head shape, is round. That's like very, very, very much the, uh, <clears throat> the general shape that you start with on any Sonic Universe character. All right, and, and I'm gonna take you through this. Uh, the body itself is much skinnier and longer. It tends to be kind of like bean shaped like this. I know there's some ways you can do it where you can draw like uh, more of a circular belly and that's up to you. You know, you could draw maybe a more circular, larger, like uh, more stocky version of Sonic character. Um, kind of like the old school version, like in the Sega Genesis, um, <clears throat> but you know, in my opinion, this is, uh, uh, I think it's cooler looking in my opinion. The arms are literally tubes, like straws. Think about straws, and that's pretty much what you're going to have. This pencil is dying. Let me get a uh, sharpener here. Okay, cool. So as I'm doing this, let me tell you. Um, so the arms are literally tubes. That's, that's kind of what I always think about, like tubes, silly straws, anything like that. They're just simplistic tubes. Wow, that's almost too dark. <laughs> and they go maybe down to the waist. Nothing too different there. Um, legs are also tubes. Very thin. Almost like you're drawing like a stick figure. Right? Um, they're pretty long. Again, if you want to draw the old school version of Sonic, like but I feel like everybody that draws themselves as a Sonic character tends to draw the new school version. So the legs are really long, a little bit longer than you might think. Um, the appendages are pretty big, almost like you're wearing a boxing glove in real life. If you ever wore a boxing glove, that's kind of like the proportion I see for just the, the hands. They are wearing gloves all the time, but <clears throat> kind of remember that. Uh, the shoes, you can they're also very large, like the feet. And as far as drawing uh, the shoes goes, you can make like a boot or you can make any kind of shoe, but they usually have this like bucket shape going on. This kind of like, it looks like an iron that you're ironing with on an ironing board. That's kind of usually a shape that I see. You have a, you have a choice for cuffs. Uh, as far as wrists go, I've seen two like the most. One, I've seen just like a, the edge of a glove, right? The cuff of a glove, right? Real simple. Or I've seen this other thing that certain characters have where it's, I think Shadow has this, a couple of characters have this. It's like a bracelet instead of that cuff. So it's almost like you're drawing the side of like a <clears throat> like a cookie or something. I'm not, not a cookie. <sighs> like a dollar coin? I'm not really sure. Like a hockey puck. There you go. Where one side of it is, um, <clears throat> it's like a thick bracelet pretty much. <clears throat> So those are things to remember. In the face, okay? <clears throat> In the face, you want to remember that it's kind of like an M sign. There's always a this shape, like a V or an M that the eyes fold down into. They can go lower right here where Sonic can be really, really low, especially like Knuckles because he's angry. Or it can be really high. 
and the eyes actually end up connecting, right? The sclera, which is the white part of it, actually connects um, in the back there. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like the whole white part, like they're wearing glasses. But I always see this V shape, and in this V shape, you can draw like, you know, curve for the furrowing of the brow. Um, or you don't even have to draw that if the character's a little bit more lighthearted, kind of like Amy does that a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I think Knuckles can sometimes have separate eyes, but you tend to have this this V shape in the middle or M shape. I, I see that a lot. If you're a hedgehog, <clears throat> and you're probably gonna have some form of spikes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the ears. The ears are literally triangles. Literally, like literally, those are real simple. And then there's like a triangle within those triangles. <clears throat> the mouth is round and tends to be the bottom, um, I wanna say the bottom like, usually the bottom third of the whole head right here or less. Right, since this is round portion. The nose can be anywhere from a triangle if you're like more cat-like uh, or like Sonic's nose. Okay, so <coughs> three kinds of noses I've noticed. There's like a cat nose that I see the most. Cat nose is just a triangle, upside down triangle. Or Sonic's nose, which is like a wine cork bottle. It looks like literally like a cork or something, like you're like plugging a hole or something. Or, um, or maybe like a pointed out triangle where it's, it's extruding out a little bit like Knuckles. Knuckles has like this extruding nose. Oh, I mean, or I guess there's a circle, just straight up like an egg shape on its side. So those are kind of important to understand. You can always rewind and watch this stuff because I, like again, you want to remember the choices for the cuff. That hands, this is not a hands drawing video. Their hands are just normal. Um, they're just big, their feet as well. So this is like kind of a different video. I'm just going to go over the very specific um, you know, like hedgehog universe stuff, okay? Like the Sonic universe stuff. And this is, if you're a hedgehog, I guess, like I'm gonna talk about the hair. I have a shaved head for the most part, so, I mean, for the most part, I, I would just think of the kind of, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw mine, not right now, but I'm gonna draw mine later, where like, what would I be represented as, right? I have a shaved head, probably won't be this. It'd probably be a lot easier if you had like a lot of hair. Um, like for example, if you look at someone like, um, some of the other characters have like long hair, right? Um, I don't really have that. It's just like a shaved head. I guess I could do something like this V shape right there and then crop it off. I think that's lame. <laughs> I want to be a, like, since I'm a hedgehog, I'm probably, I would do just whatever is in my character, I would do it. So if you look at someone like Silver the Hedgehog, he has these gigantic, gigantic, spikes right on the side of his head as well as some on the top that's kind of what i would do for myself because i think that would be more in my character um in general you know what i mean and then i would i would probably put the clothing like my clothing um but these are the general rules on how to draw yourself as a hedgehog um and that's kind of what i would recommend doing uh, you can also take this and i could draw myself here so let me draw myself so this is a regular piece of paper. I did this on this channel a lot. Regular piece of paper, regular print paper. But since I drilled it in so hard, I can literally, um, <clears throat> I can literally see through it, you know, because I drew so hard on it. So right here, I would use this as a base and draw myself as a hedgehog. So what do I see myself as? Um, I don't have a lot of features really, so I'm gonna, I think for me, I have a pretty big nose, so I'm gonna draw a triangle nose, but make the triangle a little bit big and extruding a bit, just a bit, like so. Draw a highlight over here. Go over here to the top, curve down, over here on the side, curve down, finding the edges of the mouth over here. Just doing it pretty quick. I probably would do a different one if I spent hours on it. So forgive me if my version of me is a little odd. I think I'm a pretty happy person. So I'm gonna draw a smile right there. I'm like, hey, what up? Go over here, find my big eye over here in that M shape, eye. Down over here. I'm gonna have a little bit of a furrow of the brow there, but nothing too wild. Pull it up. 
and then I'm gonna arc down here, okay? You can make it like a grave uh, gravestone shape or you can make a little point like that. I want that little point. I'm still kind of edgy, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Go over here, a thin kind of zero shape for the eye. Uh, and right here as well for the eye. Circle here for the highlight and then fill this in entirely. Circle here, my eyes are brown. They're pretty dark brown too, so I'm just gonna fill this in entirely. I like to do that, unless I have blue eyes, then I would put like a dot, you know? Okay, go over here, curve, go over here, curve. I'm gonna go over here and find my ear, find my ear, inner ear. Over here, down, find that other ear, right? Cool. All right. Let's go over here and draw the spikes. I told you guys I want those cool. Well, I'm gonna draw like one large one, and then when I, this is this is just a character in my mind. The way I see myself, it's kind of edgy, but I don't want to draw my shaved head and have no spikes. That's gonna be pretty lame. Um, I'm gonna pull down here maybe to have like a like a. I don't know, maybe it's gonna it's gonna have my hair there somehow. I don't know, I'm just gonna pull that down, just for design. There's no rules on this, by the way. So you can constantly change it. Gonna go back over here, back over here, and then pull one larger one over here. I want one larger one. This is, again, the way I feel, not the way I am. Go over here on the far end to find that far end one. It's not as big as the um, one Silver has, but you know, like big-ish. Um, over here, another one. Okay, now let's get into the thing. Like, obviously the body's gonna be more like the way I really am. So, I'm gonna find a line over here for the arm, line for the arm, line over here for the arm, line over here for the arm. I'm gonna have Kind of a square one here and I'm gonna put my wrist watches on there I wear of uh, what do you call it a Apple watch a lot so that's gonna be my I'm gonna have to have two on here right on <clears throat> put on another square right here kind of like Apple watch gonna go over here and curve down here for the body down here for the body I forgot about the tail, by the way. I'm so sorry. There's going to be a line over here for a tail. Line over here for a tail. I'm going to put like a lightning tail. Line across for the shirt. Line down for my legs. Line over here. Down over here for my other leg. So again, the legs are just tubes, so it's really easy. <laughs> I always wear t-shirts, so I'm going to draw a line here, a line here. And I think I'm going to fill in the t-shirt black. Uh, I'm going to put like a... Let me see. I'm going to put like a skull shape. Because I like I like drawing like skulls and stuff. So I'm going to draw a simplified skull. Kind of like in The Simpsons there. And I'm going to fill in the shirt here real quick. Be patient with me. So it's kind of cool because it's endless in ideas. So I want you to think of like, hey, what represents you... Uh, what do you think, uh, you know, like again, if you have like what I have where you have like a shaved head, how can you represent, you know, you want to be a hedgehog? How do you represent that in spike form? You know, like how would you? Would you want to? Would you just kind of put what you feel? You'd be like, okay, cool. Um, again, it, there's no rules, so don't worry about it. There's no Sonic drawing handbook. I hope not. There probably is, honestly, out there. Gonna go over here and I'm drawing my hand now. I'm just gonna literally draw my palm here. Out over here, thumb, and just draw like a balled up fist, kind of, more or less, just just generic, generic hands really, but they're just, they're big, right, because there's a Sonic character, and I'm going to go over here on this side and draw the fist from the other direction, go over here, like so, right, so there we go, those are my hands, and what do I wear a lot? Um, I kind of wear, oh 
man, what do I wear? I wear jeans, so this, these are gonna be jeans. I'm gonna draw a thin line right there for my jeans. And then I'm gonna draw, dang, I don't really, I guess I have pretty, my socks are cool, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm gonna draw that I'm wearing, I'm trying to think of what kind of shoes I'm gonna wear. I wear boots a lot. To be honest, so I'm gonna I'm gonna draw boots. Not not often, but it's been cold, so sometimes I wear boots. I look like some sort of goth kid. I'm not, guys. Okay, I'm not a goth kid. I swear, or a metal kid, or I'm not or a kid, right? I'm an adult, but um, but I mean I'm not I'm not. I, I sometimes wear boots, and I think that would look kind of um, cool, like the shape. So I'm gonna do that. Right on. Just draw a line here, line here, and I wanna draw a line here, kind of at the base right of the, the sole of the shoe and I'm gonna fill this in I think that's another reason I wanted to do it because it's like easy to fill in for the most part I think the ink is running out on this thing <clears throat> right on so after this when you're drawing your version whatever that may be you're gonna think about what color you want to be as a hedgehog right um, if you're a hedgehog you know um, if you're a specific animal, like I know there's a crocodile in their universe, right? I guess you can always be a different color. Again, no rules. Um, but what kind of I, I, okay? Just pick your favorite color for the hedgehog. For me, I am gonna be uh, blue. I love the color blue. I like light blue, and I just think it looks nice. Don't pick a color that's too dark, because then it's gonna be hard to see your 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 figure. Okay? So just pick a color that is uh, pretty light. So for example, if you're if you're green, pick a light green. Red, I guess red could work, right? Knuckles works. <laughs> orange, yeah, orange is pretty light inherently. Um, and like I said, if you're doing blue like me, oh man, Sonic's already blue. No, I don't want to be blue. Dang, I don't want to be like, eat. no, 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 that's too Sonic-y. Okay, let me pick another color, blue. I'm going to pick green, that's my second color. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm going to do green. Well, let me pick light green, I want to see how light this green goes. Green, yeah, this green's pretty light, let's do it. I'm going to go over here. Oh, I'm gonna take the other paper behind because uh, it's going through it. See, that's the problem with using uh, regular printing paper, right? So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to <clears throat> go right here and I'm gonna fill it in. Just fill in all the parts here. Even though there's a split there, I still want, my hair is still gonna be green. This, this whole thing's gonna be green. You can pick two different colors if you want. Like if you want to be covered in spots, that's something. There's no rules, okay? <laughs> right on. Just gonna having fun, right? That's the point of all these. Having fun. Enrique the Hedgehog. I'm sure there's other Enrique's out there, but uh, obviously, but uh, maybe Enrique Pozola the Hedgehog, that's my full name. But uh, so far, if you're liking this, hit that like button and share, okay? Sharing is incredibly important. Uh, if you do want to, you know, uh, this channel to go on, because <laughs> I'm trying to revive this channel, so hopefully you uh, are kind of stay with it as well. Right on. Okay, um, my wa my my wristwatch there. I'm gonna make that. Ooh, let me see. I'm gonna do the mouth color here. I'm gonna do it uh, beige. I recommend everybody. Do, well, yeah, beige or dark beige. I I'm Mexican, so it's gonna be kind of dark beige here. And then the inside of the ear. I always forget that. Right on. Okay, my pants are gonna be light blue. Let's do that. Cool, because I'm wearing blue jeans. This blue's kinda dark, honestly. I forgot to color my tail. Gosh dang it. Oops, it is. And when you put the marker in, just kinda glob it on, right? It's, it'll, it should lighten up when it dries, it might not, but just kinda stay aware of that. I'm gonna color my tail here, I forgot to color that. And then, um, Go over here, and I'm gonna color. I don't know. Wristbands should they be yellow? I mean, in real life, it's black, but I already have too much black on this character. Um, okay, I'm gonna color the window yellow. Okay, 
and then the part around it, I'm gonna color it gray. Just kind of like gray, 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 there you go. And gray can be used for small shadows here, like on the white of the glove, because my gloves are gonna be white for sure. So around the edge, you could maybe like aiming downward. Right on, or maybe even like a little bit of light right here under this. Okay, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I hope that helped you out. Uh, if it did, leave a huge like and share the video. Like I said, when you share it, it brings back a huge, huge, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, people just looking and, and a lot of nice people talking. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.